with annual carnival celebrations are well on the way. However, the summit always comes with a debate of culture and ethical morality. With the proposal of making Emancipation Day a more focal day during the carnival season, the views appear to be mixed when our camera to the street of St. John's. It's a great idea to have the first of August of every year a public holiday. Reason being, you know, it's Emancipation Day, 1834 until now, and much people don't know what Emancipation Day is. We have gone so far away from culture that linking Emancipation Day with Carnival. I don't think persons are going to make the connection. Emancipation Day becoming a public holiday and I feel proud of that as a young black woman, entrepreneur. Some persons feel that the true cultural aspect of the carnival has been lost over the years. The cultural part of the carnival is not there anymore. They take it away, they are half naked. Before it used to be celebrating culture on a real note. Now it's celebrating how naked you can be. Nobody remember about the real essence of emancipation anymore. But for this move and this motive, this change, I think that is going to make a positive impact. Persons feel that bringing more antiquity-centered history into the schools will help to keep the meaning of the festival. We teach history in schools, don't we? We teach them about Columbus, we teach them about the Sibonese and the Arawaks, but why not? move away from all that and teach them about Antigua, Antigua culture. The youths got to know where they're coming from. So you got to start at a very tender age, whether it be infants, kindergarten, upward, because anything you got to be in life, you got to start from a younger age.